Okay, everybody, 10:15. Time to reveal our surprise celebrity guest. Again, your clues were racing legend, Hall of Fame, 55 wins. A lot of viewers chiming in on this one. Can't shout them all out, but I will say congratulations to Graves Colleen for correctly guessing former NASCAR racing driver and broadcast analyst Rusty Wallace to pick up more news. Welcome, <laughs> Rusty. Cool. What's up, Rusty? How are you? Hey, doing great. Good guess. I'll tell you what. 55 <laughs> wins, the Hall of Fame. That's some pretty good clues. And uh, yeah. good clues. whoever <laughs> guessed it right, awesome. A lot of viewers were correctly guessing this one. So Ben did ask, do you know how to change a tire? Ben, I'm guessing you don't know how to change a tire. So Rusty, is there an easy way to do this? <laughs> hey, you want the safe way? Call Triple A. That's how you do it. <laughs> hey, and if you're not away, if, if and if you want it done really fast, you call my NASCAR pit crew. We can put 18 gallons of gas oh, in a car wish. and and change four tires in 11 seconds. What about that, huh? 11 seconds. That's uh, almost as speed that's that's fast. Ben does it. It's okay, <laughs> but the real way to change a tire, I'm telling you, what the safe way, man. If you got a flat tire, first of all, pull off the side of the road and get yourself way off the road in a real safe location, and hope to gosh by now you know where your spare tire is located and grab the tools as it's directed in your manual and jack that baby up and pull the lug nuts off and replace it. And it's pretty simple, it really is. It's gonna get a little dirty on your fingers mm -hmm. and for the ladies wearing the high heel shoes, that mm -hmm. might be tough. That's the reason I said call AAA. Mm -hmm. and I, do, and, I would be calling uh, AAA too, let me tell you. Rusty, I'm <laughs> with that. <laughs> well, so it's not that Mr. hard, it really Mr. Isn't. Rusty, Mr. Yes, Rusty, first of all, congratulations. Uh, Marisol Thank you. Castro here. Congratulations on all your wins. I just want to say, two summers ago, I had a flat tire, and I will have you know, I changed it by myself I in high heels, oh. in a skirt. By the time AAA got there, the tire was done, and he was very impressed. He may or may not have asked me out on a date, and I told him to get in line. <laughs> so it can be done in high heels without AAA. Uh, good job. You did an awesome job. You're prepared. You knocked it Thank out. You. And so you get uh, a lot of gold stars on that one. Um, now, I also opposite. tried to change it. Thank mm -hmm. you. In high heels, and it didn't work out so well. <laughs> in high heels and death. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I tell you what, honest, honestly, though, it can be a little bit uh, tough no, if you don't even know anything about it. If you got a bought, brand new car, you bought it, you're having a good time, mm -hmm. you get a flat tire, you're like, where in the world's a flat tire? Where's the tire at? And where's the tools at? And like I said, hopefully you had enough time to get your manual out after you bought your car and find out where the doggone tire's at and get familiar with your car. That's really key. Get familiar with what's going on. Not yeah. that you gotta do it, but know where the stuff's at. Yeah, uh, OG has a question for you. No, it's not really a question. You know how you said to stop? The last time I had a flat tire, I was in the Lincoln Tunnel, and there were these cars behind oh. me, so I drove oh. with the flat tire, and by the time I was done, all I had were my rims. Like, just a rim left and, like, pieces of, like, rubber. So I called Dave, our director, first to tell him that I was about to call AAA, and then I called AAA. But I had just, like, messed up rim. But in that situation, is it good that I kept driving because I didn't feel safe stopping in the tunnel? Oh, absolutely. I would never stop in that tunnel. I would keep on going. And look, in NASCAR, we blow a lot of tires out, you know, and, we, you know, we come down pit road sometimes Close to 100 miles an hour on a flat mm -hmm. tire, believe it or not, trying to slow that thing down. But I would never stop in the middle of the highway. I'd keep on going mm -hmm. and just limp that thing along, limp it along and get yeah. it up there and get it out of uh, harm's way. You did a great thank thing. That was a good choice. Thank you, yeah, sir. Yeah. I was yeah. smelling smoke and everything, but I was like, just keep going. It OG doesn't matter. OG usually comes flying down right into the pit, <laughs> into the pit lane as well. Um, but let me ask you this because it's, it's, I don't know if you can see the shot outside where Ben is sitting right now, but he's like among... Uh, all this snow that's falling in this area. So how do you kind of help your car if it's drifting? <laughs> it's hard, it just took Ben full. Uh, how do you help if your car is drifting? Like this morning I was coming in and I was fishtailing a bit. I was Well, it's all about throttle control and tapping the brake. I mean, if you're sideways in the snow, you wanna, if you're sliding, you wanna back steer into the way you're sliding. Like in NASCAR, say we go into turn one and the back of the car gets loose and it comes out, you're gonna turn to the right to correct the steering. But also, you're going to be out of the throttle, modulating the brake a little bit, tapping the brake a little bit, and giving the gas, whatever it takes to keep that car under Wait, hold control. on a second. But hold on. Talking my lingo here. So I, I'm driving down the street, <laughs> right? Know. My car, all of a sudden, the back of it is yeah. swinging to the right. I'm turning my wheel which way? If the back of my car is going to the right. You're going to turn your wheel to the right. I'm turning you're my wheel to the right. You're going to turn your wheel yeah. into the direction uh. that the back oh. of the car is sliding. 
But yes. it, because if you if your oh, if okay. your back is sliding to the right and you turn to the left, you're just going to spin out. You don't want to do that. You got a back steer, we call it. That's where if your back end is coming to the right, you turn to the right, and that'll that'll correct it. And the Understood. whole time though it's happening, you got to roll out of the throttle a little bit too to let everything. I, calm I, I was going to roll out of the car. I'm going to roll out of the car, Vanessa. <laughs> Good morning, Rusty. It's Vanessa Freeman. I've never had the pleasure of actually speaking to a real NASCAR driver, but I am curious, just in your regular pedestrian day-to-day -day driving, do you have a lead foot? Like, how many speeding tickets would you say you've amassed? Oh, uh, I've got my share of speeding tickets, but, uh, you know, in, in my line of work, uh, the cops know you're pretty good. Every now and then you get a break, but sometimes <laughs> you don't get a break. You'll find yourself on the front page of a newspaper. So I had to be mm. fairly careful when I'm driving. I really do. Uh, I, uh, probably the hairiest thing I had to meet the other day was going to the mountains of North Carolina. We got eight inches of snow in the mm. middle of the night, and I got stuck in that stuff. And it was all about. And I had a, my son-in-law behind me, and I told him, I said, "This is all about momentum, man. Don't get stuck behind a car. Just keep that baby moving. Keep that momentum going." And uh, and, and we made it up there no problem. And everybody was in the ditches or on the side of the road. But we made it because we Where kept that going? momentum going. I'm going up to Banner Elk, North Carolina. We got a second home up there in the Appalachian Parkway. We're about 5,000 foot. And uh, man, we just love it up there. It's by the uh, Blue Ridge Parkway. Under okay, I know exactly where it is on the map. Um, <laughs> yes, and no. So, so um, Ed, Vanessa was asking about that because I'm going to blow her cover. She may or may not have a lead uh, foot. I know. I'm sorry, Vanessa. It's true, but Rusty. But let me ask you this because you just uh, mentioned that if you get stuck, right? So again, because it's snowing outside, you get stuck. And you're in that thing where your car's wheels are just spinning. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Yep. Mm -hmm. You got a four wheel drive, you talking, or two wheel? No, two wheel. Two wheel. Oh, first of all, you shouldn't be out there, <laughs> number one. And, a, and you shouldn't be out there with a rear, a rear wheel drive car in the snow is the worst ever. Uh, the next worst ever would be a front wheel drive. A lot of people think front wheel drive cars can get anywhere, they can't. Uh, so you want to have a four wheel car. And if it's a lot of snow, you want to take it off of automatic four wheel and put it on direct four wheel. Oh. Both that means all four tires oh. that be grabbing all the time. A lot of people think that an all wheel drive car is fine, which it is pretty good. But if you want the very best, put it in four wheel drive. That's go. what I did in the mountains of North Carolina. Better, better. And for whatever you do, ben. as you're going up a hill, don't stop. Keep going. Keep okay. that momentum going. Uh, ben, I'm sorry. This yeah. was your question. Did you have one besides the tire? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, 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 I still don't know how to change a tire, but it's awesome listening to Rusty this whole time. He's the man. <laughs> yeah, it's, I, I think it's about the, this. Ben, you and I, let's just admit it. I don't think we are the, we are going to change tires. Just don't, I don't know. Mm -mm. Yeah. I'm not. Well, you know, I, again, jack. I'll tell it's you. It's the jack if you, if, if you got the time, if you got the time, call AAA, really. I mean, yeah. you're not going to get dirty. It's going to get done safe. And you're going to be smiling when it's all happened, when it's all finished. Mm -hmm. Rusty, what a pleasure it was to talk to you this morning. I love your energy. Thank you for coming on this <laughs> Thank morning. Thank you. Thank I you, appreciate it. Well, congratulations. Thank I mean, you, you had all these wins, so many wins. Uh, I can't even count them. But what an honor to talk to you. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. You have a great day. You, you too. too. You too.